Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aurea and this is DIY with Aurea. I have this gold plate from Dollar Tree that I'm going to be giving three coats of this white chalk paint. Once I'm done with the plate, I will put it to the side. And now I have this rooster from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna give it one coat of this black chalk paint. So I forgot to put something in those holes, so I'm just gonna take some scotch tape, cover the back, and paint over it, and no one will ever know. So I have these wooden beads. I'm gonna go ahead and paint them as well with this white chalk paint. And I'm doing it this way because I want them to be textured. I'm gonna help it dry with some heat. And then I'm gonna put some black paint on the box so like that they can be black and white. I hope this makes sense. And this is the final result with these wooden beads. I think they look absolutely gorgeous. Moving on to the plate, I'm gonna use some Jenga blocks and I'm gonna use some E6000 and a little bit of hot glue. And then I'll take that rooster and put it on the plate. And I got this ribbon at Michael's about a year or two ago. I'm gonna go ahead, make a bowl. And then with this checker ribbon, I'm gonna put it right here in the middle, a little bit of hot glue, and then we'll put it on the plate. Before I glue the ribbon, I'm gonna distress the plate. So taking a little bit of hot glue, let's go ahead and put this beautiful ribbon right here. This is coming out absolutely gorgeous. I am loving this beautiful farmhouse plate. I have this succulent and I went and I distressed it. I just call it in white and now with some hot glue i'm just going to put it right there and to display it on the wall i'm using some jew twine and the black and white beads and this is it for diy number one i hope you enjoy it don't forget that if you have not subscribed i am encouraging you to subscribe So taking this fish bowl that I've had laying around for a while, I'm gonna take some white chalk paint and I'm gonna go ahead and paint the entire bowl in the inside. So I'm setting that fish bowl to the side. In the meantime, I have these candle cups that I got at a grab bag from Michael's and they come five in a package. I'm gonna go ahead and use four and I'm gonna use the same black chalk paint and I'm gonna paint all four of them.
now that everything is completely dry I'm gonna go ahead and flip the bowl over and I'm going to glue all four of them with some hot glue and these will be the legs So let me know what you think about these beautiful legs on this beautiful bowl. Now I have these gems, they're black and of course they're from the dollar store with some hot glue. I'm just going to go ahead and put a whole row on this upper corner or should I say the neck of this bowl. Look how beautiful these two colors are coming together. Don't forget to go into the comment section and let me know what you think about these beautiful colors. I have a second vase this is so beautiful what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these white gems in first then I'm gonna go ahead and proceed to put black ones oh my god I think this looks so beautiful and it was so simple it took me maybe two minutes to do this and now I'm putting the clear gems in and then a big succulent and this is it I think it was less than two minutes I think I cheated on this one let me know what you think about these beautiful absolutely gorgeous DIY And for our final DIY, I got this vase. I really don't remember where I got this vase from, but I am going to be painting it with white chalk paint and the color is linen white. What I'm going to do is I am going to put white paint inside of this vase and then I'm going to go ahead and take the vase and turn it around until the entire vase is covered with this white chalk paint and this is it this was nice and simple and once it's dry you could just go ahead and put whatever flower you desire I hope you have enjoyed these videos and don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you have not subscribed please consider subscribing and if you have subscribed thank you so much for being part of my channel and please leave me your comment and let me know which of these DIYs was your favorite and let me know if you would consider doing something similar I hope I have inspired you in some type of way and once again thank you again for stopping by and sticking around until the end of the video you be blessed and I will see you in my next video adios